I never asked your sister out, man. Odd, all the way from Scotland, England. So, Jazz, I'm sorry. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm a really huge fan of Love Fest. Hey, 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 hey. Let me see you, sorry, baby. You are a woman of substance, and I think that's... Thanks. Yeah, thanks. That's cool. And, oh, Jazz, who is that thing with you? Andy, I think she's throwing her out a little bit. Aren't you, man? Look, she's got to take me 24-7, you know what I'm saying? Poor lassie, she's had a turn of jazz more than one girl can take. Eh? Say hello, man. Hi, Paul. Mango. Where are we? Eh, the rock lifestyle hasn't been too good to her. Man, just go away and sit in a lobby until I finished him. Check the fridge. Is she okay? I mean, apart from being an ugly, cheap cow, she looks half dead. Hey, 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 seriously, man. Denny, crap my style. I'm an artist, you know. Uh, okay, Jazzy. So, Jazz, I was listening to your album on my boombox all weekend. <laughs> like... Right! Yes! Brilliant, bloody brilliant. Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the cars here, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Leave it up, Jez, you remember. Lovefest. Don't be playing them games with me, Jinzo. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Good See, one in America. The, the thing is, totally Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. Totally they ain't too connected here. They don't have the old totally hands. Totally far, far. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fest, yeah, nice beauty, you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice men, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, it really mean a lot you to the You can do boys. that for the boys, right? And if, if they don't get it, and if they're not riding my wave that day, man, well, you know, I ain't gonna go cry puppies just because their dog is teething, you know? As far as these idiots are concerned, I am a man. But I tell you, sweetheart, I've been over to the other side, baby. Man, oh man, it's beautiful. Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, right. sucker. This last album wasn't your best selling, was it? I don't even think it charted in the UK. Is that shot? Piece of paper. Bring that to the concert and I'll set it on fire. I ain't no Ronald Reagan a rock, babe. Album charts are a metaphor for human isolation and the breakdown of interaction. And I say it's time to rock. I'm doing charity work, asshole. You freaking hit me? I'll freaking hit you. Yeah, mate. The guys could do with some company, if you know what's what I mean. I know just the girl. And zinc deficiency. Four boys against your face. Ray tracks. What memories? And here you say you dedicate the album to the children of the night. Who are they? No, 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 sweetie. Let's go on. Let's get one thing straight here. Hello. We recording here. This is for the record, right? Test, test, test. Love Fist is Jez Torrance. I sing the songs, sweetheart. It's my face on the merchandise. You see us in concert, see four men rocking and dancing with tears in their eyes. You will see I am Love Fist. He who pays the piper plays the tune. Oh, I didn't know you had a piper in the band. Love, I was talking metaphorically. Condensed meaning, enlightenment. We are family living in Death Valley, but I walk alone. I am on a spiritual journey, and if I see a dick or anybody stands in my way, the contract says I walk. I've been dragged back and helped. Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Yeah, but okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. Look, look. I love the whole bit of fuzzy guitar, but he's overrated love, right? Without the torrents of abuse, Love Fist would be over, and the new contract reflects that. As an artist, it's really important that I make a lot of money. 
Right, man. You need to keep you and our friends in your diamonds and that, eh? Yeah, rock on, Keith. Roger, what a trip. Yeah, shut up, you silly top. Ugh, let's take a caller. Hello. You're on the line with Love Fist. Hi. Yo, the swing, man. Hey, what's up, Jez? I'm a huge fan. I go to all your concerts. I get crazy. I wear my Love Fist t-shirt every day, even when I'm with my old lady. Hey, I heard the subliminal messages in your video. Is that true? Listen, seriously, the big hair, the limousines, the girls, the partying, the clubs, the hotel suites, and other TV smashed into a thousand pieces, right? After my unfortunate incident in Cleveland, I told the press, I don't like Mondays. This livens up the day. If you're asking me if we was using Batmask, music is reversible. Time is gone. Do you want me to say, congratulations, you have just discovered the secret message, dreams. I see you later, big boy. Like so many broken dreams, I want to pick up the pieces together. God, I am so creative. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat. Knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to Shut up, you that. fool. Just get hey. Jez bomb yes. sheet. It's a love rocket thing, can. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants Love Fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love Fist, gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save Love We've Fist. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. Chavez. You couldn't cut it as a clown, but you're great, and I mean great, as a public radio host. It takes a lot of work to be uppity and self-important all the time. Every camp I go in, the guys love you. Hey, thanks. Hey, don't thank me. Thank yourself. You've learned something, then you started something, and now you're doing it. That's what it's all about. It is? Yes. You thought your way to success. It's a three-step program based on studying success. I'll see Lufus burn. Lufus ruined my life. Maybe you should just think, hold that thought, complete. I never had anyone complain about that program. Stop that. Hey, I engaged with you, friend, and you're exchanging with me. I covered this in my second tape. One is a positive action as practiced by successful people like salesmen or prostitutes, and the other is a negative action as practiced by failures like winos and judges. What? Stop interrupting me. You gotta open your ears and close your mouth. It's very important. I tell my old lady that all the time. I say, hey, I don't wanna hear no complaining. I come home with piles of cash every night and all you do is bitch. The learning starts in here and ends when we open this. Doing is a whole other story, but we'll come to that. Now, all you have to do is call me right away at 866-434-SELF and for just one monthly payment, I will change your life forever. I promise you. I'll supply you with all the materials you'll need to completely change the way you see the world. Guaranteed. Oh, so stop, stop right now. This is a debate program, not an infomercial. Hey, that's a great idea. Listen, friend, I mean this in a friendly way. Debating is a yes or no proposition. You need to open your mind to the maybes. We're discussing like friends, not debating like enemies. You see the difference? Yes, I do. I think it's so much fun to be on the radio. I'd listen more, but someone stole my radio when they killed my foster family. I hate everyone, apart from the undead. They're the only ones you can really get along with. Well, that's a start. But even you, Mr. Longhair and Pale Skin, I can change your outlook, guaranteed. That's so great! Like puppies! I saw some dead puppies once. Uh, I noticed you have a lot of negative thinking. Why the goth lifestyle? Well, some say life is a tea party for zombies. Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something darker comes along. It's a known fact that the best poetry is written when you're horribly depressed. Hey, listen, I wrote a haiku. Oh, the red daisy. Flowers retain all happiness. Sunshine. Yay! Back to the top I got hand, eh? I've had enough of this weirdness. Jenny, let's start with you. How do you maintain such a positive outlook on life? It says in your bio that some awful things have happened to you. I don't think any... 
How you doing, mate? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're going to need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig, all right? That's how I want to live my life. If you can't see the misery, stay out of the kitchen. You may have noticed this on tattoo. It's Egyptian and represents the breath of life given in the afterworld. It's my key to eternal life after death. Hey, why don't you carry your keys in your pocket like everyone else? Because only that which is burned or scratched into your flesh comes with you to the afterlife. <laughs> I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Hey, can you put a hex on my ex-wife? Like some kind of spooky voodoo or something? I do dabble in the dark arts and magic. I ain't talking about magic like pulling a rabbit out of your ass or pulling quarters out of your ears. I'm talking voodoo. You know, dance around with a chicken voodoo. That bitch was a grass. Why does everyone assume that just because we're goths, we're weird? I don't know. The hood, cane, black fingernail polish may have something to do with it. When's the last time you've seen the sun? It's been over 18 years since I was out in open sunlight. I only leave the house if it's raining or if I need milk. Exactly. Listen, I was just like you at one time, except I didn't wear makeup. That would get you a firm beating where I grew up. I'm happy to give you a sample of my course, Learn, Start Doing. I promise you'll run out and buy some colored clothing and listen to some music other than people groaning on and on.